When a humble farmer named Tom came across an expensive looking diamond ring while working in the field, he thought it was his lucky day. Excited by the unexpected find, he hurried home to show it to his wife, Laura, dreaming of how it could change their simple life. However, the moment Laura saw the ring, her reaction was far from what Tom expected. Instead of joy or surprise, a cold, hard expression appeared on her face. Looking at the sparkling diamond, Laura turned to Tom and said, I want a divorce. Tom was completely surprised by Laura's reaction. The word divorce had never even crossed her lips before, and now she just threw it at him seemingly out of nowhere. From his perspective, their marriage was as strong as ever, and now suddenly it wasn't good enough anymore. Is it really because of the ring he found? He stammered, trying to ask Laura for clarification. At least she could give him a good reason for this crazy change in behavior. But Laura just walked away from him without a word and started packing a small backpack with the necessary things. Tom followed her, carrot and ring still in hand, demanding an explanation, growing more fierce and furious by the minute. Near the end, when Laura walked out the front door to get into the car, Tom shouted at her, blinded by anger and rage. He felt that he had just been treated unfairly by Laura's demand and lack of explanation. He shouted that he didn't mind the divorce, that she won't get anything from him, and that he never wants to see her again. Things he never expected to say to the love of his life. After Laura left, Tom collapsed on the couch and lay there motionless for at least an hour. He didn't really know what he should do now. His whole life revolved around being together with Laura. They were even trying to have children together, and he hoped that selling the ring he found would give them a little more savings for parenthood. But all this could now go to waste. He wanted to throw the carrot and the ring across the room out of pure frustration. However, he managed to hold back because he wasn't fed up with this discovery yet. There was something about his ring that caused his wife of four years to abruptly turn away from him. Determined to uncover the truth, Tom decided to investigate further. He examined the ring closely, noting its intricate design and valuable gems. His garden, where he found the ring, was small and fenced, making it unlikely that someone simply lost it there. Realizing he needed help, Tom headed to the only jewelry store in town. As he presented the ring to the jeweler, he learned that a woman had previously inquired about it, adding a new layer of mystery. Tom's mind raced with questions about this unknown woman's connection to the ring. Tom left the store still holding the ring, burdened by unanswered questions. Determined to unravel the mystery, he asked the jeweler about the ring's possible origins, but each answer led to more confusion. Despite the jeweler's admiration for the ring's craftsmanship, its past remained shrouded in uncertainty. As they discussed potential histories, Tom resisted the temptation to sell the ring, prioritizing his quest for truth over monetary gain. A breakthrough came when the jeweler recognized similarities to a ring sold years ago, hinting at a connection to the past. Examining its minimal wear, they concluded that the ring hadn't been buried for long, raising further questions about its presence on Tom's farm. Each discovery added another layer to the mystery, leaving both Tom and the jeweler perplexed by the ring's enigmatic journey. They speculated on various scenarios, from accidental loss to deliberate concealment, but none seemed to perfectly explain how the ring ended up in Tom's garden. Despite the jeweler's persuasion to sell, Tom remained resolute. I need to uncover the truth, he asserted firmly. The story behind the ring held more value to him than any monetary offer. As he prepared to leave, Tom noticed a surveillance camera in the store, sparking a hopeful idea. Convinced of its potential significance, Tom persuaded the jeweler to grant him access to the footage, unlocking a new avenue of investigation. In a dimly lit room, Tom scrutinized the surveillance footage, searching for any clues related to the ring. His attention was drawn to a woman in the footage whose resemblance to Laura unsettled him. As he continued watching, Tom was stunned to see the woman enter Laura's car, revealing a connection that sent shivers down his spine. This revelation intensified Tom's determination to uncover the truth, prompting him to confront Laura and the mysterious woman in search of answers. Realizing the enormity of his task, Tom enlisted the help of his friends, urgently explaining his situation to them. Understanding the gravity of Tom's predicament, his friends agreed to join forces in locating Laura and the mysterious woman, each becoming part of the investigative team. A breakthrough occurred when one friend called Tom with vital information. Laura's car was spotted parked in an unfamiliar driveway. This revelation served as a guiding light for Tom, leading him toward a potential source of answers. 
Following his friend's instructions, Tom approached the unknown house where Laura's car was parked, feeling a mix of hope, fear, and determination. Standing before the house, Tom braced himself for whatever truths it might hold, knowing that its secrets could unravel the mystery haunting him. Entering cautiously, Tom moved silently through the seemingly abandoned interior, though he sensed a lingering presence. Driven by his quest for truth, Tom ventured further into the house, his senses alert to every sound and movement. Ascending the stairs, each creak amplified his growing anxiety, but he pressed on, drawn by the faint voices he heard. At the top of the stairs, Tom discovered a partially open door through which he could hear Laura and the unknown woman conversing. Hidden in the shadows, Tom listened intently as their cryptic discussion hinted at a plan that implicated him, filling him with a sense of betrayal and apprehension. Surrounded by the conversation, Tom struggled to grasp its full significance, yet sensed its importance keenly. Gradually, he began to glean insights from the cryptic dialogue, though the identity and role of the second woman remained elusive. Leaving the house quietly, Tom was overwhelmed by confusion and heartache, the conversation swirling in his mind, leaving him with a storm of unanswered questions. Alone in his car, he replayed the conversation, each word a potential clue to Laura's sudden request for a divorce. As he drove, conflicting thoughts filled his mind, turning his once simple life into a complex maze of mystery and uncertainty. Seeking guidance, Tom called a trusted friend, hoping for clarity amidst the confusion. His friend's advice provided some comfort, urging Tom to consider all possibilities and not let emotions cloud his judgment. Yet Tom was left grappling with doubt, uncertain whether to confront Laura directly or continue searching for evidence. Each option carried risks, and Tom felt the weight of the unknown pressing heavily on him, turning his thoughts into a battleground of indecision. Returning to his farm offered a brief respite, the familiar landscape providing solace amidst the turmoil in his mind. This moment of respite among the greenery and open sky allowed him to breathe, to temporarily put aside the web of secrets that entangled his life. As the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in shades of orange and purple, Tom sat on the edge of the porch. He wondered about his relationship with Laura, searching his memories for any sign he might have missed. He analyzed each memory in the fading light of day, looking for pieces that could complete the puzzle of their strained relationship. Determined to discover more of the truth, Tom went on an unplanned visit to the place he associated with Laura. As he approached this place, his heart was burdened with a mixture of fear and determination. This impromptu journey was fueled by a need for answers, anything that could shed light on the shadowy corners of Laura's life that remained hidden from him. Once there, Tom's keen eyes began to pick up on subtle clues, each pointing to aspects of Laura's life that were previously unknown to him. These discoveries, small and seemingly insignificant on their own, began to paint a clearer picture together. Each clue was a piece of the puzzle, illuminating parts of Laura's secret life that were shrouded in darkness. Then Tom looked at the ring again. Its once bright glow now seemed to echo the mysteries and secrets it represented. The ring, a simple object found in the ground, became the catalyst for a journey into the unknown. A journey that revealed more questions than answers about his life and the woman he thought he knew. Tom didn't sleep all night, a sea of thoughts swirling in his head. He tossed and turned, trying to piece together the fragmented truth that was slowly unraveling before him. The darkness of the room mirrored the darkness of the situation he found himself in, and each hour passed with little rest and no respite from his racing thoughts. As dawn broke, shedding new light on a sleep-deprived world, Tom found new determination. He decided it was time to face Laura and demand the truth, no matter how painful it might be. With the first rays of the morning sun, Tom's determination strengthened, preparing him for the upcoming confrontation. Tom came face to face with Laura, his voice a mix of pain and demand. The air was thick with tension as he asked the questions that were bothering him. His emotions were in a whirlwind, swirling with confusion, betrayal, and a desperate need for clarity. The moment of truth had arrived, and with it the possibility of destroying what was left of their marriage. Laura, unable to avoid the truth any longer, confessed her affair with Monica. Tom listened, and every word Laura said deepened the abyss of betrayal. The revelation of the affair, a hidden aspect of Laura's life now laid bare, was a devastating blow to Tom who had been unaware of the signs all along. 
Monica, present in the room, stepped forward to explain her role in the unfolding drama. She told how the ring, a symbol of her secret meetings with Laura, ended up in Tom's garden. The ring, a silent witness to their secret relationship, inadvertently became the key to discovering the truth. Laura admitted that she planned to leave Tom for Monica. The accidental discovery of the ring accelerated her decision, revealing the future she had imagined away from Tom. Her confession exposed the plans she had made, plans that had no room for the life she shared with Tom. Following these revelations, Tom and Laura agreed to a divorce. Laura, recognizing her betrayal, agreed to the settlement. The process, although legal and formal, was fraught with a sense of finality and loss, marking the end of what they once shared and the beginning of separate paths. Tom struggled with the fallout from Laura's confession and the breakdown of their marriage. The feeling of betrayal and the pain of saying goodbye was overwhelming. He mourned not only the loss of his partner, but also the destruction of the trust and future they had built together. In a symbolic act of closure, Tom decided to sell the ring. Getting rid of the ring was more than a financial transaction. It was an emotional release, a way to get rid of the tangible reminder of his broken marriage and the web of deceit that had unraveled around him. Once the ring was sold and the marriage officially ended, Tom looked out at the horizon of his life. It was an uncertain future, but filled with the potential for healing and new beginnings. He took a step forward, not without scars, but with hope that the hardest part of his journey was behind him. If you are a fan of true horror stories, you should watch this video. Three terrifying school lockdown scary stories, short horror stories. Click here to get the full story.